Guys, what's the crack? Welcome to Irish Spring. It was glorious and sunny, and we just had a massive hailstorm shower. Investing is like gardening. And uh, I need to take off something here. I feel overdressed. Let me put in this yoke, sorry. Uh, investing, investing is like gardening, but most people just want to go to Tesco. All right, and going to Tesco is fine to buy your veg. All right, but it's got massive limitations than uh, being self-sufficient and being able to grow your own where you control the quality of the produce when you just buy it from a third party you don't get any control. But uh, that's just what I'm briefly going to talk about. So I've been investing for over a decade. I uh, invested heavily into myself, first of all, into my education. It's the best investment any of us can make is uh, into your education because uh, it's the most asymmetric investment we can make. And what that means is it's the biggest upside. Like you can buy Bitcoin that might do 100x in your lifetime or it might do a 50x in your lifetime or a um, you know, might do a 10x in two years, but uh, investing into yourself is an un unlimited upside and the most underappreciated investment that we can have. How are you guys? Let's crack. Hit the like button there. Let me know who's on. Throw a comment in. Good crew on there. Um, but uh, like gardening, okay, there's a good bit of work. So I'm just out here prepping the beds for uh, to plant a bit of veg. Um, and you know, you do a lot of work today and you don't get any vegetables tomorrow or at the end of the day. There will be no vegetables. There will be no vegetables here for months and it will take months and months of work. But then once you do all the work and you get it, then you have the supply. So it's like a deferred gratification. You know, I knew, used the analogy a lot that investing is like uh, going to the gym and you invest in your health and fitness. Like your body doesn't change when you go to the gym. You have to go to the gym like, you know, hundreds of times to see any change. Uh, but that doesn't mean that every single time you go, it's not doing good. And, and this is the secret or the key, I believe, in learning how to be an investor, is to understand the fair gratification. Understand that there's a concept in our universe, and it's what Bitcoin works on, and it's why I think I fell into Bitcoin and understood it quite instinctively, and it's called proof of work, okay? And if you're prepared to do the work, okay, because energy can't be created or destroyed, it only changes forms, if you're prepared to put a positive energy into something to a positive future outcome, well, you will have that future outcome. And investing is so the same, guys, okay? We all want to get rich quick, okay? That's like going to Tesco. Go down there and buy your GMO fruit and veg, you know, and see how it makes you feel, see how it makes you look. And that's fine. It's the easy way. It's a quick fix, okay? And not everyone has the luxury or the space or the availability to grow. It's not the point. It's just a silly analogy is all I'm using. I'm not hating on you if you don't have a garden to grow your own veg. I'm just trying to convey that we all want the quick, easy way, okay? But for me... Just learning to invest and be patient was the best thing that I ever learned how to do. Society teaches you the exact opposite, okay? It's all about the flashiness. It's all about spend, spend, spend. Don't invest, spend. Investing's risky. Spending is what you should do. Support the economy, improve the GDP. And that's great for politicians, okay, and their fat bonuses. But for your lifestyle and your future, not so good, guys, all right? So if you actually care about yourself a little bit more, we'll invest. We'll invest into our future, okay? There's loads of different things you can invest into. You guys know I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. It's my primary focus of my investments is on understanding Bitcoin deep enough to help me make really intelligent decisions in it because from my point of view, and, you know, full disclosure, I'm a Bitcoiner. I've built my life. I've built a business around this thing. I own multiple businesses, but I have one business that's pretty much primarily built around Bitcoin. So, so take that as, as you will, uh, as a biased. But uh, for me, I don't think there's anything more important than to focus on Bitcoin and uh, you know and I, I mean that in a risk return basis I mean for the risk versus the return you know there's riskier things I could do I could buy loads of lotto tickets each week but I don't think that you know there's too much risk there <laughs> in doing that of basing on that outcome so for me um, you know I think the best use of my time is to focus on Bitcoin and that's why I invest a lot of time like all I've been doing here as I've been gardening uh, and weeding out the beds is is consuming Bitcoin education, okay? Just consuming and learning and learning and learning. And I've been learning about this thing for years. And I still just, the only realizing that it's bigger than I ever thought. Every year I'm like, there's more to this, there's more to this, there's more to this. Fair enough, some crypto people think they have it figured out in a weekend and uh, they want to speculate on the faster Bitcoin or the next Bitcoin. But they're on level one. When they get to level six or seven, when they get to level five, they realize they had it all wrong, okay? But they're, they're so far. So if you're on that level, I'd encourage you to explore a little bit more. Um, and understand that there's a lot to Bitcoin. It's like an onion. 
I'm going to plant a few onions out here now. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not in a hailstorm. But uh, it's like an onion, and it's got multiple layers. And if you're on the fence and you're not quite understanding Bitcoin, I would encourage you to come along to Bitcoin Ireland 2023. Uh, it's on the 20th of May. It's shaping up to be an absolutely awesome event. Every week we're confirming new speakers. I've got some big names to drop, but I can't quite drop them yet because uh, we don't have the contract signed yet. But uh, grab a ticket because we're limited. We can only get 300 at the event, and I think we're a third sold out already. So uh, don't delay. Grab your ticket while the early bird offer is in and come and get orange pilled for a full day of professionals chatting about Bitcoin, people who work in the space or people who have analysed and studied Bitcoin um, for well over a decade. So I'm looking forward to learning. But the key, the key thing to understand is is where you go wrong with investing is you put your money into, some, into the asset, okay? You won't have more money at the end of the day or the end of the week or the end of the month or maybe not even at the end of the year. And this is where we go wrong. We just want the easy way. We want, well, I've done a bit of work. I have to be paid. And I call that the employee mindset. And there's nothing wrong with being an employee, okay? But as a business owner, it's far, far better being a business owner, okay? As an employee, your wages are limited to what you're boss will give you, will pay you, okay? As a business owner, you've no cap on the amount of money you can generate. You can expand the business. You can pay yourself more, okay? But the mindset is different. The employee is, I've done an hour's work. I want an hour's money. The business owner is totally different. The business owner is, I've done an hour's work. In fact, I'm after doing a year's work here, and this business hasn't made me a penny. In fact, I'm after sinking 60 grand into it, okay? So it's totally deferred gratification. It's like gardening, okay? You do the work. There'll be no fruit tomorrow. There'll be no vegetables at the end of the week. There'll be no vegetables next month. I'm going to still be watering them. I'll be planting them. I'll be nurturing them, okay? But there will be a harvest, all right? And, and this is the beauty. So it's all about the mindset. It's about pushing your, uh, your deferred gratification out there and realizing that if you do the work, you will get the reward. But if you don't do the work or you're not prepared to do as much work, well, don't expect as much of a reward. And for me, that's the greatest lesson in my life, the biggest lesson in my life that got me in a position of early retirement was all about investing, all about that you you don't necessarily want to be doing work that you should be paid for immediately. You want to do bigger work. You want to do more important work, building something that's a bit more critical that in the future may pay you a lot of money. Is there more risk with that? Yeah, there's much more risk with that, okay? But there's also much more reward with that. And that's why I think, you know, investing is the key to success, investing into biz building businesses, investing into yourself, investing into your education, and uh, also, I suppose, investing some time into understanding Bitcoin, I think, is the easiest return anyone can get. Uh, but anyway, the rain has nearly stopped here. I'm going to get back. I'm uh, just getting my raised beds ready for planting here. There was a bit of a hailstorm, but that's uh, the Irish Spring. We go from lovely and sunny to lashing. Uh, thanks for being here, guys. If you're not part of the channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, throw a comment in, let me know where you're tuning in from. And uh, let's keep an eye on uh, that Bitcoin price because... Um, Things are certainly turning around from bearish to bullish, um, which is pretty nice to see. So congratulations if you've been through the bear market. This is the most exciting phase when we start when you start things start to turn around. You've been hammered. You've got the absolute crap bed out here in the bear market. Welcome if you've survived. If you've dollar cost average. If you've continued your education, you know it's not going to be luck that you know possibly 24 months time you're going to be sitting in a very 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 comfortable position financially. Uh, and that won't be luck, although everyone will tell you it is. <laughs> Dini, Dini and people who've been in this space will know it's not luck. It's proof of work. It's proof of the work that you put in to help you make the decisions that you made. Zimli is from Glasgow. What's crack, man? What's Glasgow? Oh, yeah, I was never in Glasgow. I was in Edinburgh. The uh, battered, battered, battered Mars bars and things like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, awesome stuff. Oh, there's thunder. Molly, come here, Molly. Oh, sorry, gotta get a dog before she runs away, thunder. <laughs> come here. Oh. Good girl. She gets afraid of the thunder. Put her in the house. Good girl, you're right. Now, in you go. Go on, in, 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 in. Now. Yeah, any thunder, she does a legger. she would be gone, she scales the fence. Yeah, the collies, they're very sensitive to noise. But uh, yeah, there's a crack of thunder, lads. Anyway, I'm only waffling for the sake of waffling. It's been good to see everyone on. Um, thanks for being here. Stack sats. Invest. Investing is the single best thing you can do if you want to have a better future financially, is to invest. 
investment your education and uh, and then use that education to make better decisions and your future will thank you for it tomorrow not so much <laughs> Denise just texted me there watch Molly <laughs> those thunder uh, see so guys have a super day it's good to see you all future ahead fair play there's a man doing some work awesome stuff guys have a super day it's good to see everyone here Dinny out back to the gardening just put a bit of compost on it weeded it out and I just got to compost that one.